I'm Bonnie Erickson. I've been working with Jim Henson off and on for a very long time in my career. I've worked with Muppets. My husband and I had a company that did a lot of mascots. We still are in that business. I am also a trustee at the Jim Henson Legacy. The first Muppet I created, I think it was used in one of the specials that Jim did. It was the first time I really carved foam as a puppet device. I hadn't really done it before, but I had a sculpture background. For Miss Piggy, I named her, as I was working on her, for Peggy Lee, big favorite of my mother's. She was from North Dakota as well. And I called her Miss Piggy Lee because I had wanted to do it as a sort of homage to Peggy Lee. When we finally got to the Muppet Show, they changed it because they were afraid that there might be a problem. Uh, and that she wouldn't find it an homage, and so it was changed and shortened to Miss Piggy. People have asked me, did you know that she was going to be famous? And I said, well, I didn't, but she did, obviously, so. And there she is. She's back on TV. This is a sculpt of Miss Piggy as the dancer, a la Degas, it was produced for a book that was done called The Kermitage, which was parodies of famous works of art using the Muppet characters. And this is Miss Piggy's ballet costume. He tried to do every year or every other year a costume party. And there was also always a contest for the best costumes. Because, of course, it was Muppets. There were incredible costumes. The year that Wade and I went and won, we hand-carved hands big enough so that the palm was our faces. And on those hands, we put these hand puppets. So <laughs> there was a Kermit and there was a Piggy. She was very cool. <laughs> and I love Kermit. I think mainly because of Jim. He was extraordinary. He was a great person to work with. He encouraged us to play. Jim and I were having lunch in England. He was working on the first movie. And he said, I love doing movies. And I said, well, what do you really like about it? He says, because they'll do anything. I can say, what if Miss Piggy could swim? And I'll come in the next day, and everybody will have plans for how they can make Miss Piggy swim. He liked that very much. And I think that was a good moment for Jim. He, he really did love film. Hells Angels, they live on Third Street, and they used to have breakfast every morning up at the Henry Hudson Diner, and I didn't know who they were. <laughs> I was fresh into the city. They'd give me a ride down to the village every night. <laughs> but they were very nice to me. I mean, they were, they'd hop on the back and just ride down to the village in those days. This is a drawing by Charles Schultz was given to me when I was in third grade. He came to visit my class, and he did drawings of all these characters that were very new to him at the time. Uh, this is before he was syndicated. This is a drawing by Maurice Sendak. Wade and I did the patterns for the toys, the wild things, and this is a photograph of all of us in the studio with Maurice, who was wonderful, by the way, and great to work with. This is a line of toys we did in 1984. We had some extras and we thought this was a perfect place to display them, so we had them made into a chair. I don't know how I would describe Wade and me, except to say that we're really curious. I think that's part of it. We're really interested. We really have learned, I think, of training over years to look at things, to really look carefully and try to incorporate them into some of the designs that we've done, some of the things around our home, just in order to make things more interesting. I love all colors. That's part of what life is, all colors. <laughs>